I thought I'd put together a video of how I'm making these uh, face shields. Currently I have the 3D printed portion printing right now. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing the actual screens, the face screens. I'm wearing a face mask. I put on new gloves each time I do a batch. Um, I have this cornering tool, it's a corner punch. I got it from Michaels for like $8. Basically what that does is that we're using overhead transparency sheets and they have these sharp edges on them. So what I'm gonna do is on in the landscape orientation, I'm gonna put a radius on both ends, that way they're not sharp. And then on the opposing side, I'm gonna use a standard English three hole punch. And that's what will attach it to the 3D printed headband portion. So I'll go ahead and show you what I'm doing here. Just put each end in, give it a punch. As you can see, it puts a radius on there. They're not perfect, but they're way better than just the sharp edges right here. So I'll do the other side. I just verify that it's clean and nothing jagged on there. I'm gonna flip it over, put it in three hole punch, line it up, square it up, punch it. I just like to look to make sure they look equal and even and not all out of wax so they fit properly. And then they'll be put in batches of 10 into Ziploc sealed bags for them to be ready for distribution to the hospitals. So this part of the operation is dealing with the actual 3D printed headbands that they're gonna use. Um, they have three tabs on them that the clear shields that I just showed are gonna attach, attach to. So what I do is after they print, again, clean gloves, I'm going through and verifying that on the inside where they're gonna touch the skin, the head, that they're not sharp in any way. If they are, they have to be cleaned up and made so they're not sharp. I also just kind of verify that there's nothing too bad with the print that would cause it to fail. Um, I'll do that. So what I'm doing is I, I put 10 in a Ziploc bag at a time, so I batch five at a time. I just go through all of them, make sure there's no sharp edges on the inside here or anywhere around the headband. Um, I've already kind of went through these, so these are actually printing pretty good. I My one printer is doing a lot better job of, than the other one, so that one I can pretty much just take them off the bed and they're ready to go. I just verify that there's nothing broken. Um, so then what I'm doing is I have some alcohol wipes and I'm just trying to wipe them down. I believe that they're gonna be sanitized at the hospital, at least I hope they are. Um, they can't expect everybody to have a, a completely sanitary home that are making these for them. Some I'm sure will be cleaner than others, but I'm just trying my best to, to try to keep them as clean as possible. I don't know if a towel is the best thing to put them on, but that's that's what I have. So, so I'll do five at a time. Just kind of wipe them down. You know, when they when they print when they're printed, they're printed at 240C, which definitely kills anything that would be on the material. So then what I do is I take five, try to straighten them all out. take these little head these little rubber bands do that on both sides they don't stack real easy but this seems to help keep them neater put one on each end and then I'll put one in the middle just to try to keep them somewhat centered and sitting properly So far in the last three days, three or four days, I'm getting close to a hundred of these I've made. I've, I've donated 43 so far. I have 30 that are already packed and ready to go. That's 73. Um, whatever I get out today, I'll be close to a hundred. I hope by the end of the night, I'll be up pretty late and printing these out. So then what I'll do is I'll take a Ziploc bag. I'll stick them in there. Seal them up. 
I'll, I'll end up putting another five in here and I'll write on there that there's 10. So then they go, the way I'm packaging them is I have 10 of the shields in a package and 10 of these. So whoever needs them, they can have them and they're ready to go. Okay, here's the final step. I just wanted to show how these actually go together. So this is the 3D printed headband. Here's our sheet. The radiuses have been put in them. The holes have been punched at the top. So basically you just start at one end. The first hole on. Go to the next one. Kind of stretches over here, pop on. And then your third one. And that's your face shield. Simple but useful. Thank you.